Hey guys, this is Rue from Rue TV, and if you didn't know, you are watching Jammin' Music Man. So don't even think about, don't even think about changing that channel. Don't even come close to picking up that remote. Well, it wouldn't, wouldn't be a remote, it's the internet, it's like keyboard or I, I don't, don't touch them. Keep it here on Jammin' Music Man, my favorite channel on YouTube. What's up guys, it's me Jammin Music Man and welcome to my special new unboxing video and in this unboxing video, oh man, this unboxing video is nothing but randomness. That's right, the best way to describe this unboxing video is pro wrestling madness. That's right, I'm getting gifts and packages and DVDs from all over the place. But there is one special package and that's this package right here because this package right here is a Blu-ray set. It's an ultimate anthology set of one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. And this guy is most definitely a wrestling legend. But what wrestling legend is it? You guys are just going to have to tune in and find out. I'll give you guys a little clue. The WWE wouldn't put out this set right here. That's all I'm going to say. So, enough of that. Check out, see what I got the other day, and I'll catch you at the end of the video. Enjoy. What's up, guys? I just got home and I got myself not one, but two packages in the mail. One package is from IVPvideos.com. I bought many things from them in the past. They've got a great Japanese wrestling Blu-ray DVD selection, and they've also got... Uh, you know some other great stuff and I'll put a link in the description box below to the website but the other package I have this package right here this package right here has came from the NWA that's right the National Wrestling Alliance but what did they send me tune in and find out so enough of the talk which package am I going to open up first I think I will start with this one let's see Let's see what the NWA sent me. And if you guys have watched my channel, you guys know I'm a big fan of the NWA. You know, I like EC3, Southern Six. Um, who else? I mean, there's so many I'm forgetting to mention. Trevor Murdoch, uh, Mike Knox. So many. I could go on and on and on. I love the NWA. What more can I say? But... All right, we got the package now open, so let's see what I have here. Oh, man, check this out. If you're an NWA fan, I think you're going to love it. Check it out. What I have here is a Crockett Cup 2024 shirt. Oh, man, check that out. There's nothing on the back, but, man, look at it. Crockett Cup 2024. Holy smokes. That looks pretty sweet, and I will... Wear this shirt with pride. All right, let's open up this package right here that is from IVP Videos. Like I said, I've gotten many stuff from them in the past. Link will be in the description box below to their website. All right, we got this package now open. What do we got here? We got a little uh, promo card for IVP Videos right here. But let's see, what do we have? You guys are going to see it first. Check it out. It is, oh man, it is the best of the NWA title in Japan. That's right, you get a Blu-ray collection of some of the best NWA title matches in Japan, starting from the 50s all the way up until uh, 1989. You get some legendary wrestlers, some legendary NWA champions defending the 10 pounds of gold uh, you get Licky uh, you get Luthez taking on Ricky Dozan from 1957 Luthez was the NWA champion during that time you get 
uh, Giant Baba taking on uh, Jack Briscoe from 1974. Uh, you also get Terry Funk taking on Jumbo Saruta from 1976. Harley Race taking on Giant Baba from uh, 1979 and 1980. Uh, Rick Flair taking on Jumbo Saruta in 1982. Kerry Von Erich uh, taking on Rick Flair from 1984. This was the match uh, that Rick Flair won the NWA title back. Uh, also, you, also, you get uh, Rick Flair taking on Rick Martell from 85. Uh, Rick Flair taking on Jumbo Saruta. And also, you get uh, Ricky Steamboat taking on uh, Tiger Mask from 1989. Tiger Mask. During this time in 89 was the legendary uh, Mitsuharu Masawa. And I, I know here recently in 2024, uh, EC3 has defended the NWA title in Japan. It's been probably more than 10 years since we've seen the NWA title be defended in Japan. So I'm happy for uh, EC3. I'm happy for the NWA to see them uh, make their return in Japan. And I hope we see more NWA title defenses in Japan, but man, this is what I got. Check it out. It's the best of the NWA title in Japan. And I love this shirt right here. The Crockett Cup 2024. Oh man, that's sweet. So let's see what else I got in today's unboxing video. Alright you guys, I just got home from work and I got myself a package in the mail. Who doesn't love coming home from a long, hard day's work and finding a package in their mailbox. I know I do. So, enough of the talk. Let's open up this package and I'll show you guys what I got. All right, we got the package now open. Let's see what we got here. What we have, you guys are gonna see it first. Check it out. It is WWE Payback. 2023 and I love that cover with the Judgment Day and let's see what matches do we get on here we get Shisuke Nakamura taking on the World Heavyweight uh, Champion uh, Seth Rollins also we get Rhea Ripley taking on uh, Raquel Rodriguez uh, LA Knight taking on The Miz uh, Becky Lynch Taking on Trish Stratus. Oh man, that should be a good one. And then we get the Judgment Day taking on the World Tag Team Champions Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Oh man, this is some uh, modern day uh, WWE right here. I don't watch a lot of current day uh, WWE, but they do got some people that I like, and I do like the Judgment Day. And if you guys uh, remember, I recently attended a, a WWE live event show and the Judgment Day were there and you know I'm a big Finn Balor aka Prince Devitt fan so I'm happy for him to be part of a you know pretty popular group right now so yeah looking forward to checking this out some WWE Payback 2023 so let's see what else I got in today's unboxing video Alright you guys, I just got home and I got myself not one, but two packages. One package is from IVPvideos.com, the other one is from Wrestletopia. I've got two pretty interesting Blu-rays that I think you guys are going to love. So I think I'll open up this package right here and this package right here comes from IVP Videos. This is... As soon as I saw it on the website, I knew I had to have it. I think you guys are going to love it. What I have right here is, oh man, check it out. What I got is the best of Owen Hart. Now, this isn't uh, put out by the WWE or anything like this. This is IVP videos. Uh, they specialize in uh, Japanese wrestling and other rare, hard-to-find wrestling promotions from around the world. But this set right here, you get... The best of Owen Hart in uh, World of Sport Wrestling, Calgary Stampede Wrestling, and New Japan Pro Wrestling. Now, the World of Sport Wrestling, uh, that's the British uh, wrestling promotion that was around for so many decades. Uh, you know, Owen Hart, you know, he had a, a run with that uh, promotion, but then the Calgary Stampede, of course, his father, Stu Hart, uh, ran that promotion. And then, uh, 
the late 80s, Owen was wrestling for New Japan where he was the IWGP uh, Junior Heavyweight Champion. So this should be uh, an interesting Blu-ray set right here. And I'm just not going to list off all the matches, but I'm just going to tell you guys what just some of the matches you get with this set right here. You get uh, Owen Hart uh, and Bam Bam Bigelow taking on Chris Benoit and Dr. Def Steve Williams. Uh, also, you get uh, Owen Hart taking on Hiroshi Hase. That's from New Japan. Uh, you get Owen Hart taking on Jushin Thunder Liger. I believe this was during his time as the junior heavyweight champion. Uh, Owen Hart taking on, taking on uh, Kobayashi. Owen Hart and Steve Williams taking on uh, Buzz Sawyer. Oh no, Owen Hart, Dr. Death, Steve Williams, and Buzz Sawyer taking on Ricky Choshu, Hiroshi Hase, and Masa Saito. Owen Hart taking on Keji Muto, and Owen Hart taking on Scott Hall. Oh man, this should be quite a fun set. Like I said, uh, you can pick this up from IVPvideos.com. Link to their website will be in the description box below. So go check them out. And then I got one more. This is from WrestleTopia. All right, I got the package now open. You guys are going to see it. What I have here is, oh man, check it out. Look at that cover. I love it. This is the Tape Trader's Guide to 90s Indies Wrestling Volume 1. Uh, let me read the back of it. Uh, that says, this explosive Blu-ray collection takes you on a wild ride through the underground scene of the 1990s showcasing the raw talent and innovation that independent wrestling had to offer. Witness high-flying maneuvers, brutal brawls, and technical masterpieces from indie promotions around the country. Oh man, over seven hours of incredible action. Oh man, look at that cover right there. Uh, let's see, let me pull up the Etsy page. Now, I'm not going to read all the match listings, but with this set right here, Volume 1, uh, you're going to get matches like this. You're going to get Chris Candido taking on Jerry Lynn from 1993, Sabu taking on The Lightning Kid, aka Sean Waltman from 93. Also, you're going to get, get this, Brad Armstrong taking on Ricky Morton from a promotion called IPW back in 1996. Also, you're going to get King Kong Bundy taking on the Iron Sheik uh, from a promotion called ISPW in 1999. Steve Carino taking on Adam Flash uh, from 1996 in a promotion called MEWF. Uh, also, you're going to get Madman Pondo taking on Too Tough Tony from 1999 in a promotion called MRW. Uh, also, you're going to get One Man Gang taking on uh, Sergeant Craig Pittman from 1998 in a promotion called NDW. Now, I think NDW, I think this is that new Dimension Wrestling, which was a promotion ran by uh, Jimmy Valiant. I think that's right. I might be wrong. But look forward to checking that. Ricky Morton taking on Mandy Fernandez from 1998. Tully Blanchard taking on Buddy Landell from 98, oh man. Uh, Kerry Von Eric taking on the Warlord uh, in 1992 in a promotion called NEWF. Uh, I believe that was Killer Kowalski promotion. Also, you get Terrorizing, aka Triple H, taking on Tony Roy from NEWF in 92. Yes, that was Killer Kowalski's promotion. Uh, Terry Funk taking on Chris Benoit in the NWA in 94. Oh man, just so much, so much indie goodness. Jake the Snake Roberts taking on Nasty Boy Brian Knobs in a cage match back in 1998. Oh man, this is a set that, like I said, I'm looking forward to checking out. I love that cover of this Blu-ray and I'm definitely looking forward to checking out the best of Owen Hart that you can get from IVPvideos.com. So let's see what else I got in today's unboxing video all right you guys I just got home and I got myself a very special package in the mail this package right here comes from an old school YouTube friend of mine Kevin aka F Zappa 20 and me and him go way back to when I first started doing YouTube videos back in 2009 uh, F Zappa 20 was actually one of my first friends here on YouTube and he sent me a message on Twitter the other day that he was going to send me 
a package. He said it was something that fit my channel. So he didn't exactly say what he was sending me. So this is a surprise and I'm looking forward to checking out what he sent me. So enough of the talk. Let's open up this package and I'll show you guys what I got. And if you guys are interested in checking out F Zappa 20's uh, YouTube channel, um, he's a big fan of the band uh, Fish, Legendary Jam Band. He also does um, like recaps of old uh, fish shows. He's a big fan of uh, you know college football, NFL football. I'll put a link in the description box below to his channel. So I hope you guys will go check him out. So we got the package now open and can't tell if what this is exactly but oh man got some in some plastic wrap here I don't know what this is what could this be oh man check it out we got some classic WCW cards oh man that's pretty sweet uh Let's see how old are these? Oh, from uh, 1991. Oh man, awesome. Let's see. I think we got something else in here. Got anything else? Uh, no. I think that's it. Yep, that's it, you guys. So yeah, that's pretty cool right here. Some classic WCW cards. Uh, oh man, I'd hate to open these. These are such, you know, these are some old cards right here. Uh, 1991, 12 full color cards. Um, should I open these? Should I? I think I will. Let's do it. I'm interested in wanting to check these out right here, man. All right. Oh man, check that out. We got the Southern Boys. It's got the Southern Boys, uh, Tracy Smothers and Steve Armstrong. What else we got here? Sid Vicious. The legendary Nature Boy Ric Flair. Got another Southern Boys card right here. Oh man, we got the beautiful, the gorgeous Missy Hot. Check that out. Oh man. We got a Arn Anderson card here. Check that out. We got one of my favorites, Flying Brian. Check this out. Oh man, we got another one of my favorites. Doom. Check that out. Butch Reed and Ron Simmons. Great tag team. Oh man. El Gigante, who would go on to be John Gonzalez in WWF. Terry Taylor. Check that out. Oh man. One of my favorites, the Steiner Brothers. Check that out. And then we got Ricky Morton. Awesome. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to open this other one. I, I, I'd hate to destroy the package right here. But man, Kevin, thank you so much for sending me this. This is some classic goodness from the past, man. I'll put a link in the description box below to F Zappa 20's YouTube channel. I hope you guys will go check them out. Alright you guys, I just got home and I got myself not one, but two packages in the mail. You guys know what this video is all about. Uh, one is a special package that I got from eBay. Um, the seller that I bought from, he was a little bit late on sending this package. So he sent me a message and he told me that he sent another special DVD in this package right here. I have no idea what he sent me, but I'm looking forward to opening up this package and seeing what he sent but i think i'll start with this one first this is something that i ordered from wrestletopia i'll put a link 
in the description box below to WrestleTopia's Etsy page. They got a great Blu-ray DVD selection. So enough of the talk. Let's open up this package right here. This is something that I've been wanting to check out once I saw it on this Etsy page. And you guys are going to see it first. Oh man, check it out. It is the year in pro wrestling. The best wrestling matches of 1979. Oh man, here we are. It's the end of the 70s. About to be the 1980s. Like the title says, it's the best matches of 1979. Oh man, you get a ton of matches on here, man. You get Andre the Giant taking on Harley Race. You get Nick Bockwinkle taking on Vern Gagne. Jumbo Saruta taking on Nick Bockwinkle. Bob Backlund taking on Greg Valentine. Uh, Harley Race taking on uh, jo Jumbo Saruta. Uh, you get Andre the Giant taking on Stan Hansen. Pat Patterson taking on Ted DiBiase. Abdul the Butcher and the Sheik taking on the Funk Brothers. Uh, Jack Briscoe taking on the Spoiler. Uh, Bob Backlund taking on Pat Patterson. Uh, the Dynamite Kid taking on Tatsumi Fujinami. Harley Race taking on Dusty Rhodes. Looking forward to checking out this Blu-ray set right here. He also has got some uh, other uh, best of uh, year sets on his set. Uh, start from like 1975 all the way up until 1980. Looking forward to checking this one out right here. And now with this package right here, like I said, I ordered this package right here from eBay and the seller was a little bit late and he told me he also added another little bonus DVD in here. So I'm looking forward to checking out what he sent. So let's open up this package right here. All right. Let's see. All right, what I have right here. Oh man, check it out. It is, oh man, I already actually have this right here but it's a sealed copy of ROH the Charm City Challenge uh, like I said I already have this in my collection um, let's see you get Adam Cole taking on Roderick Strong for the ROH world title you get Red Dragon the ROH world tag team champions Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly uh, taking on Michael Elgin and Jay Lethal uh, Kevin Steen taking on ACH. Uh, look forward to checking this one out. Like I said, I already have it in my collection and I haven't watched it yet. But I, I need to check this one out. All right, you guys, the DVD that I actually ordered from eBay. Here it is. It is Revolution Pro Above and Beyond. Now, you might be asking yourself, Revolution Pro never heard of them or maybe i have heard of them. revolution pro was around in the late 90s and early 2000 and it was a promotion ran by the voice of AEW, excalibur and super dragon both of those guys are indie legends and they would uh, later go on to start another legendary promotion pro wrestling gorilla pwg but uh, this promotion right here, this was their first promotion. It was around from like 1999 to 2003, 2004, around that time. But man, uh, this promotion right here, it was an indie promotion that was kind of a, a, a hybrid style. You got your traditional American wrestling mixed with Japanese, mixed with MMA. Um, yeah, as you can see right here as the title of the DVD, you see, see for yourself where hybrid wrestling was born you know mix of lucha uh, japanese wrestling american wrestling and some of the matches you get on here you get uh, super dragon one of my all-time favorites taking on scorpio sky that's right scorpio sky who probably a lot of you remember uh, in aew but during this time of scorpio sky's career he wrestled under a mask i don't know if you guys can see it right there but also uh, you get on here you get the disco machine taking on Chris Chris Bosch uh, Super Dragon taking on Taro yes a lot of Super Dragon matches are on here it's uh, over two hours um, like I said Revolution Pro a promotion that uh, you know it wasn't around for a long time but man so many people got their start in this promotion it was around 
uh, in Southern California in the late 90s, early 2000s, and this was the only DVD I could find of this promotion on eBay, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. If uh, There's also some Revolution Pro Shows that you could check out uh, here on YouTube. I highly recommend checking them out. I'm a bit, like I said, I'm a big Super Dragon fan, and, you know, he, he's an indie legend, so I'm looking forward to checking this out right here, and looking forward to checking out the best matches of 1979 and I need to get around to watching this DVD right here like I said I already have this in my set but uh, special thanks to the guy I bought from on eBay for sending this but yeah looking forward to checking out this classic stuff right here so let's see what else I got in today's unboxing video All right, you guys, I just got home and I got myself a package in the mail. And this package right here comes from a great seller on Etsy, Hyper Devil. I've gotten many DVDs from him in the past. He's got a great selection. He's got uh, shows on DVD. He's got best of compilations. I highly recommend checking them out. Link to his Etsy page will be in the description box below. So enough of that. Let's open up this package right here and I'll show you guys what I got. We are getting this package now open. Oh man, you guys are gonna see it first. Check it out. Oh man, does that face look familiar? You recognize that face? Oh man, what I have here is, it is The Rock as Fletch Kavana, the early years. Now, this is during The Rock's uh, early days of his career when he wrestled in Memphis for the USWA. Like I said, this is a DVD set of some of his uh, best matches during that time in the USWA. Now, he was in the USWA uh, during the early months of 1996. Now, I know the WWE always tell you uh, his first match, his first ever match was at Survivor Series 1996. That's not true. Like I said, he was wrestling in Memphis for the USWA during the early months of 96 that year. But yeah, man, looking forward to checking out this set right here. Uh, during The Rock's time as Flex Kavana, he won the USW Tag Belts with Bart Sawyer. He had a little feud going on with Jerry the King Lawler where uh, he would end up losing a Loser Leaves USWA match. And after that match, the rest is history. He was off to the WWF later that year but man looking forward to checking out this right here check it out flex kavana that's right before he was the rock he was flex kavana looking looking forward to checking this one out so let's see what else i got in today's unboxing video all right you guys i hope you enjoyed checking out what i got just the other day so here we are it's the main event of this unboxing video this package right here it's an ultimate anthology set of one of my all-time favorites and like I told you guys at the beginning of this video this is something probably the WWE would never put out so enough of that let's open up this package and I'll show you guys what I got oh man I've been wanting to have this in my collection for quite some time and when I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Oh, man. All right, we got the package now open. So here we go. You guys are going to see it first. Oh, man, check it out. It is, all right, you see it right there. It is Dusty Rhodes, The American Dream, The Ultimate Anthology, Volume 1. Oh, man, now, the WWE didn't put this out. This is a custom-made Blu-ray set from a, uh, a website I found online called Tim's uh, Video Collection. He specializes in uh, like custom-made wrestling Blu-rays. I'll put a link in the description box below to his website. But man, look at this set right here. Oh man, this looks sweet. Now there's no no artwork on the DVDs, but man, looking forward to checking that out. Don't, that looks sweet right there, but man. It's a three disc set. Matches include Dusty Rose taking on superstar Billy Graham <clears throat> from uh, 1980. Uh, Dusty taking on Nick Bockwinkle. 
Dusty taking on Ric Flair, Tully Blanchard, uh, Lex Luger, and so much more. Oh man, and this is volume one right here. So wow. This looks pretty sweet. Dusty Rose, one of my all-time favorites. But man, yeah, this is going to be pretty sweet right here. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Uh, links to my Twitter and my Instagram will be in the description box below. So go follow me there. Go check out my past videos. But guys, thank you so much for always coming back to my channel. Check it out my videos. And thank you so much for your support. But until next time, I'm Jammin' Music Man. And I will see you guys all in the next video, live and in public, if you will.